my next question. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that fight? Because it's taking place on the very same day of your fight on July 30th at the Barclays Center in New York City. You know what? I'm very excited for that fight. Yeah. Well, it's, it's unfortunate that we're fighting on the same day, but I'm going to be DVRing it, man, because <laughs> I know it's going to be a really great fight. <laughs> I know that Leo Santa Cruz and Carl Frampton are great fighters, but I have a feeling that Leo Santa Cruz is going to come out victorious. Uh, he's very long and very rangy. The first time I ever sparred him, I wasn't used to how long someone was, and whenever right. I land those combinations, I would try to pull out, and he would hit me with those combinations. It was, it took me a couple times to finally adapt to his style, and I feel like Carl Frampton, he's never seen a guy that long and that aggressive, and the guy that's going to be coming forward with him and putting a lot of pressure on him with that kind of length, and I just feel like uh, he's going to be landing the effect of his shots and maybe even hurt Carl Frampton, and uh, I, have, I, have, I know for a fact uh, Lil Santa Cruz is going to come out victorious that fight. What were your final questions? Abner Morris, the eye injury, how detrimental do you feel that will be to his career? What are your thoughts on that? You know, it's, it's very devastating to see uh, something like that happen to Abner Morris. I mean, he was uh, one of my role models growing up because just seeing that he was fighting at such a light weight just like me and all the accomplishments that he accomplished and the success that he's uh, succeeded, uh, it, was very, it was very motivating for us. So for me to see him uh, getting uh, that fight canceled because of his eye, it was very devastating for me and very uh, hard for me to take because he's a very great fighter. He's still young and he's still uh, willing to prove to everybody that he still has it in him to be a world title contender and maybe even be a world ch uh, champion soon. So hopefully, I mean, they get the eye fixed or maybe the commission could, you know, bypass that eye. But I mean, it's for the best in the safety. I'm, if something's really that bad, then I suggest that he's probably just take some time off and maybe hope for uh, an, an eye surgery and maybe right. get that fixed. Any final words to your fans out there? For all my fans out there, I want to thank you guys for all your support. Once again, I'm fighting July 30th at the Fantasy Springs Casino. I'm ready to showcase to everybody that I am the next big thing in boxing. Fighting on HBO Latino is, uh, HBO is one of the best networks, so I know that it's a very big stage for me and I need to go out there and put on a great performance. So I'm gonna go out there. I've trained very hard for nine weeks. I'm very strong right now. I have a lot of speed, a lot of combinations, and I'm ready to go, to go out there and showcase to everybody that uh, Joseph Diaz could be the next big thing in boxing. Thanks, thank you guys once again, and I'll see you guys at the Fantasy Springs. If not, tune in. It's Will Latino. Thanks. Thank you. Always a pleasure, my man. Appreciate it, man.